I thought I'd never do a video on the Oscars, but here I am. Welcome to a very special episode of This Week in Music. Initially, I wasn't going to watch because the constant disrespect that this award show gives black people, especially black women, but seeing two people from North Carolina A&T giving the trophies, I decided to go ahead and give it a watch anyway, and I don't regret it. But I do want to congratulate all the winners from the show, even if I've never seen these movies before, nor have the intentions on seeing them. I want to congratulate Quest Love on, win on winning Best Documentary for Summer of Soul, and this was well deserved because that documentary was amazing. Now next week, I hope you get that Grammy. Next, I want to congratulate Billie Eilish on winning Best Original Song for No Time To Die. And me personally, I was rooting for the Sebastian Yatra song, and many others rooting for Beyonce's Be Alive. But we all know the industry loves Billie Eilish, so I wasn't too surprised when she won. I also want to highlight Big Kotzer on winning Best Supporting Actor for his movie Coda, which also won Best Picture. And with this, he became the first deaf actor to win an Academy Award, a plus for the deaf community. Congrats to Encanto on winning Best Animated Film, and is it me or do I feel that Disney always wins? And this is no shade to Disney because I love Disney. And if y'all remember, I did a whole tier list on them. Now, Will Smith won Best Actor in a Leading Role, and his speech was amazing as he talked about his need to protect his women involved in the film and his wife. More on that in a bit. His speech moved everybody, and I haven't even watched King Richard. I will give it a watch now, but once again, my biggest congrats goes to Will Smith. Next, I want to briefly talk about the performances that was performed at the Oscars. Starting off with Beyonce as she performed Be Alive in Compton and she did good, but I want to talk talk about Bruno's performance. Now I was expecting them to perform the full length song, but they had to cut it short because we got a remix with Megan Thee Stallion and Sheila E on drums of course, and that gave it the performance of the night for me. Now we're going to talk about the main event, Will Smith vs Chris Rock. Now Chris Rock was presenting an award for something. And during his monologue, he made an insensitive joke about Jada Pickett's hair. If you don't know, she suffers from alopecia, which is a hair loss disease, and she didn't took that joke kindly. So as husband, Will went on stage and punched and or smacked Chris Rock and told him to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. Now my thoughts on this is, when I saw this live at first, I didn't know what was going on because after Will punched Chris, ABC did the right thing and muted the exchange. Now, I'm not faulting Will for his actions because we need to protect our black women. But then again, Will should have went backstage immediately after Chris Rock and the winners left the stage and confronted Chris about his comments. Chris was wrong for his comments because, if I'm correct, then he and Jada did some Madagascar films with each other. I thought he would have more respect for Jada Pickett Smith. But all in all, the Oscars stepped up their game because this award show used to be bland and boring. But this one got me excited and this was a fun watch. Anyway, I'm going to end the video right here. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also in the comments, please tell me why y'all think Chris Rock was wrong for his alopecia joke. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.